Look, for example, at illegal Mexican immigration. Mexican immigration over the border, it's a good thing for the illegal immigrant. It's a good thing for the United States. It's a good thing for the citizens of the country. But it's only good so long as it's illegal. Are you on? And so the last, uh, the last story, uh, very, very relevant um, to to the conversation, if not a, as timely, uh, because uh, you know y'all mentioned that the subtext of this is that the these ch- these people who are pushing these child labor bills, um, it's not actually their children that are going to be affected by this. It's not their it, you know the child of the state senator introducing this bill in Florida is not going to be working forty eight hours a week while they're in school. Obviously, they're going to be going to some whatever private religious school uh, and then, right. you know, doing whatever extracurriculars they want to outside of school. Interning um, with interning, some freak. Yeah, w- yeah, with some ghoul uh, vampire lizard <laughs> person and uh, getting uh, Harvard paid for by the donations that their parents make. You know, I mean, uh, so the people that are going to be affected by this are like some white folks in trailer parks and immigrants, right? And right. and and by and large, undocumented immigrants. And there's this clip that's been going around of, of Milton Friedman talking about you know, just just saying the subtext out loud. Look, for example, at the obvious, immediate, practical case of illegal Mexican immigration. Now, that Mexican immigration over the border is a good thing. It's a good thing for the pe- illegal immigrants. It's a good thing for the United States. It's a good thing for the citizens of the country. But it's only good so long as it's illegal. That's an interesting paradox to think about. Make it legal, and it's no good. Why? Because as long as it's illegal, the people who come in do not qualify for welfare. They don't qualify for Social Security. They don't qualify for all the other myriads of benefits that we pour out from from our left pocket into our right pocket. And so as long as they don't qualify, they migrate to jobs. They take jobs that uh, uh, most residents of this country are unwilling to take. They provide employers with workers of a kind they cannot get. They're hard workers. They're good workers. And they are clearly better off. Illegal immigration is great for the immigrants and for the business owner and for the economy, but only... So far as it's illegal, that's and he talks like that. So far as it's uh, the, the weird <laughs> mid-Atlantic a- accent, whatever it is, uh, and and he says that literally a quote. It's only good so far as it's illegal. If it's legal, it's no good. And he says because these people, um, you know, they don't have uh, uh, they don't have access to uh, the benefits that the taxes that they pay pay for. Uh, they don't have uh, the right to vote or anything like that. And so all of this, it's a it's a good it, it's a good arrangement for everybody. They have a better job than they would have in their home country. Uh, the boss gets cheap labor. The consumer gets cheap good cheap goods. And uh, the welfare state is not you know dependent on these uh, these people and we're not politically accountable to them. And so, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all great, but only as long as it's illegal. <laughs> Something I can appreciate about that, that mentality in a different context. <laughs> but <laughs> in this one, yeah, I'm so. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, that is what they're asking for is this permanent underclass of folks that can be hyper exploited. Right. And, uh, you know, because if you're, if you are here illegally, are you going to unionize, right? right? Are you going to speak up when the boss steals your wages or sexually harasses you or does any of the other crazy things that happen to people at work, you know? So it's, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of just laying it out there, I guess, a little more honest than some folks. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 